How do you manage your money? That is something not many women ask themselves, yet it is something I see that they should ask themselves. When people don't ask, they don't always want to hear, but it's here from a good heart and it's something I think it's important to know. So my name is Tine Karense from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed business women build a business with a team and everything. Stop doing everything on your own. And there's a whole lot to it because before you can even build a business, you need clients, of course. And before you can scale and grow, you need to have products and services and pricing and sales and strategies and conversion and brands and there's a lot, okay? Today we are going to talk about how to manage your money. So what I see happens a lot is that women do not plan ahead. So they have no targets. You need to have a monthly target. First of all, you need to know what are your monthly fixed expenses. All the expenses that you have before you even have a client. So for, for example, I'm now in my office. I have to pay office rent every month. If I have no clients, I still need to pay that. My salary, I still need to pay that, yeah? So that's uh, your, your phone, uh, your, your email marketing program. All those things you need to pay monthly. Those are fixed expenses. So you need to set a target that every month you will have to have that money a minimum, yeah? And then as much money comes in, as money goes out. You're, you're not making a profit, you don't have money to invest. If you make more money than your fixed expenses, and sometimes when you have clients, you will have more expenses. So for example, if you organize an event, you, um, you have uh, location, food, uh, staff, or whatever. So those are occasional expenses. So when you have financial targets, you know if you meet your goals every month. So then you can start to plan. If you're halfway through the month, you can see, hey, am I on track? If not, you might to have to make some phone calls or you might have to do some promos. Um, another thing which is very important is when you have to pay VAT every month or every three months. In my case, every three months I have to pay VAT. Now, to manage that, um, as soon as someone pays me, I put the VAT on a separate account. So that when I have to pay the VIT, it's never a surprise. There is always enough money to pay the VIT. Paying myself, I always do that in the beginning of the month. Um, it's rent and myself in the beginning of the month. So not by the end of the month for the month ahead. That's uh, for me. So at least those expenses and... and I charge my clients in the beginning of the month. So that's when, and paying yourself is always the most important. Next is um, when you know that you make profit, you need to also put that aside because that money you might need to pay in one and a half year from now. And I know for many women, they have no idea how much profit they make. Uh, they rely on the bookkeeper. Uh, sometimes the bookkeeper says, oh, well, it's not uh, busy, uh, it, it's not important, we, we will do it next uh, month or next month or next month. Um, and I know for a fact for many women, and that was the case for me too, I always had my annual statement, uh, not in the beginning of the next year, but at the end of the next year. So we were nearly two years ahead and then I knew did I have to pay or not? So it's important, and of course that's not happening to me anymore now because I now always have my annual statement in the first quarter of the year next, of the next year. Um, and if you talk to your bookkeeper and, and the bookkeeper says, yeah, but it doesn't matter, it does matter. You cannot have your bookkeeper dictate how you run your finances. They can give you advice. I so often see how bookkeepers dictate if someone can make an investment. It has happened a lot. 
that the bookkeeper decides if a woman can pay the investment to work with me. The bookkeeper only looks at what's coming in and what's going out. But you can see, hey, what, are you, what am I going to make with this investment? The bookkeeper doesn't know because the bookkeeper didn't have the conversation. So you are responsible for your money. Don't only rely on a bookkeeper. A bookkeeper can give you advice, very important advice, and it's someone you should be able to rely on and ask questions to and fall back on. But he's not running your business and not dictating where your money is going. So those are a few things about money management. So it's important that you always have your VAT by the side, your income tax by the side, uh, your, um, uh, that you have your monthly targets and preferably also have a, 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 an annual financial plan so that you know, um, am I within budget? For example, you can plan $5,000 or euros for marketing in a year. If that money is gone in June, you have no more money left. And then in September, an opportunity arises. Now the big companies will say, sorry, budget is finished but they will still make sure that they have budget in September. Yeah. Um, so there are constantly opportunities knocking on your door who cost money. So you need to budget that and allocate that. So, so this is just in a nutshell. It's very, very, very basic information about how to manage your money and how to manage your money finances in your business. If you want to know more about it, just schedule a quick 15-minute call uh, with me. I can see if I can uh, help you in 15 minutes. If not, we can schedule another call, but that won't be free. Um, the 15-minute calendar link is down below. And don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel. And next week, I will be creating another video for you which is about another topic on how you can scale and grow and manage your business. Bye bye for now.